So hello everyone. I want to tell you today's story. It's a very very strange, very very weird, and very very crazy story. And as you may see, the title today is called a twenty eight dollars frappuccino from Starbucks. So let me explain what was happening here. So as you probably know, that Starbucks just released or launched whatever is called a unicorn frappuccino. This week on Thursday or Wednesday, I forgot, and it says that it will be on sale for a limited time until this Sunday. So today is Saturday, so it's not Sunday yet. But the situation is, many Starbucks store has already sold out all the unicorn frappuccino because I guess the unicorn frappuccino require re require a lot of different kind of syrup to mix up together to create unicorn frapp. So it's. A little bit weird, although on the website it said it will last until April 23rd, which is tomorrow. But many stores already sell out yesterday. So let me tell you today, I really want to try the unicorn frappuccino. Actually, it started from yesterday. Yesterday after school, I go to a Starbucks close to my school and then ask for, "Do you have unicorn frapp?" And they told me, "No, we already sold out." So I was really, really disappointed that day. So I go back home. Now today is weekend Saturday, so I thought, why do I go and try the unicorn frappuccino? Because it looks really, really cool. The unicorn frappuccino is that color, and really, really excited to see your taste. Because some people says that it tastes awesome, some people says it tastes really, really bad. So it's kind of mixing ratings for this drinks. So I really want a drinks for that. So I go to downtown Toronto to find out because in. The Starbucks around my area is already all sold out. I check it on the Starbucks app, mobile order. I try to mobile order it, but it don't allow me to do that because it's already sold out. So I go to downtown. So going to downtown, I go to my first Starbucks store. So this is the situation. I finally find one after searching for so many stores that don't allow me to order with mobile order and pay. Mobile order and pay because you know that if you can order it from mobile orders, then you can definitely get it from the store, right? If it's not available at that store, it will not allow you to actually order from your smartphone. So, I finally find a store that allow me to order from my mobile smartphone. So I press it, I send my order to it, and I go to that store to pick it up, and then when I get to that store, just at the time I go into that store, I thought a person, a cus, another customer that brings two unicorn frappuccino, just get two unicorn frappuccino from the barista and is just walking out. So I thought, oh, I definitely can get it because someone has already have it. So it should definitely be there, right? So I go in store and talk to Brisa to pick my order. I just placed for unicorn frappuccino, and this is the thing that he told me they just sold out. So it seems like that person just coming out takes the final two unicorn frappuccino they have in that store. And I mean, I just sending my order. And if you allow me to order from your smartphone, then why don't you not have it? Uh, so I was really disappointed that he told me that they don't have it. So they asked me to switch to another drink. So I saw, oh, probably I got a green tea frappuccino. So then I got a green tea frappuccino. So if you can probably see, this is the picture I took after that disappointing trip. See, it's a green tea frappuccino, but on that list it says tall unicorn cream frappuccino. On this tag, it says "tall unicorn frappuccino," but actually inside, it's a green tea frappuccino. It's green. What does mean is I already sent in the order, which print out this sleep. But then when I get a store, they don't have it, so I eventually got a green tea frappuccino. So that was a little bit disappointed. Actually, very very disappointed because it was very very far away to get to that Starbucks store. And I just been late for like one minute. They just just sold out the final two, like thirty seconds or one minute ago. That was disappointed. So then I thought I need to right get to the center downtown area of Toronto to find that Starbucks because there are a lot of Starbucks store in downtown Toronto. So you actually have a higher possibility of getting that frappuccino, unicorn frapp. So then 
I get it. But I'm so tired, so I take an Uber. And the Uber cost me $17. $17. Oh my god, that's a lot, actually. It's not a very long trip. It's a 15-minute trip, $70. So this add up to another $17. So, the before one, I placed mobile order and get a green fraction. It already cost me $5. So, this is another $17. So, I already cost me $22 to get this frappuccino. So, I take the Uber to another Starbucks store. I do another mobile order on the car. And it allows me to order again. I press that, send in the order. And when I get to that Starbucks store, oh my god, they tell me again, they don't have it. They already sold out. They just sold out. Uh, that was a tough feeling. Dear Starbucks, if you already sold out something, then change your setting, change your uh, the inventories on the mobile order immediately. Make it real-time information so we know that you don't have unicorn fraction anymore. So I can just go to another one to find it out. But don't just when I get if I place an order, that means you have it. So then just serve me. That was a bad experience, but. The good thing is they refund me. They refund me. I scan my card again, so they refund it back to my Starbucks card. So that is awesome. And then, so this doesn't cost any money because they refund me. It only costs a Uber drive for seventeen dollars. And then I look at the app again and trying to see if another store have it. Yes, I go to another store. I didn't do mobile order again because I don't want that kind of situation happen again. Previous to Starbucks store, so I get there. And I just order it with the barista, and yeah, they got it. They really have it. And then I'm very excited to see the awesome unicorn frappuccino. I finally tasted, it and it's here. You can see the picture. It's here. This is what I just take the unicorn frappuccino. The color looks amazing. The color really looks amazing. And it's absolutely cool. And how about a taste, you might probably ask me. And this stuff cost me another five dollar by the way. So if you combine all the money together, the five dollar I spent on the green tea frappuccino, the seventeen dollar I spent on the Uber drive, and the five dollar and blah 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 some cents spent on this real frappuccino here, unicorn one. The total will be around twenty-seven to twenty-eight dollars. So that is why I title is called twenty-eight dollars unicorn frappuccino. And yeah, so if you ask me for the taste, I would say a little bit disappointed, but not like too disappointed, because I spent so much money. So definitely a little bit disappointed. I wouldn't say it's a really really good. It's just okay between okay and good, slightly higher than okay, but not. As not good, not reaching the status of good. So it's like a sour and sweet blended together. It's like a sour birthday cake taste, and it felt really, really strange. It it's a little bit strange. It's not a, like super complicated, super mysterious, super amazing, as they promote it on their website, which saying that this is the rare frappuccino you can possibly find. It's just a simple frappuccino. So if you we don't get it if you don't buy one, or if you want to get will buy one, or you just doesn't get it. Well, there's nothing to be worried about because it's not that special. I'm telling you right now, it's not that special. So calm down and continue your day. It's not a big, 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 great frappuccino. So that's the situation today. I'm really tired, and it cost me a lot of money to get that unicorn frappuccino, twenty-eight dollar frappuccino. And I would say Starbucks is a really, really smart company. They're really good at do, doing these kind of great marketing strategy. If you see their website, like they promote it as a very, very amazing, 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 amazing frappuccino. So let's take a look at their. Website, what they said to this frappuccino. So they said, "Uh, oh, I guess it they already put it down because so many stores already sold out. Before, like, there's a page showing the unique 
promoting on your home page there's a page promoting unicorn for Optional, but now it's taken down so I guess because so many places are sold out so they just take it down so it's understandable so they promote it as unicorn very, very real limited edition well it's really limited edition it was sold out on Saturday even not until Sunday it was sold out on Friday Saturday almost sold out so it's really limited edition it was really really mysterious looks amazing they want they know a lot of people are gonna buy because they're shiny beautiful colors and when you pay your money when you give out the money to Starbucks then you find out it was not actually not that special not that limited edition not that crazy so it's like you get disappointed but what Starbucks do is they already got your money so yeah that's the situation here it's more like Apple that they sell iPhone every year and you really like give a high expectation to that you really want to try it and you get a phone you find out well it's still kind of the same as the last year so you are kind of a little bit disappointed but whatever the Apple got your money and yeah that is their successful marketing business strategies I would say they're really smart so whatever that is probably my day it's a little bit boring but it's a fun experience and yeah at least I got it I am very lucky so at least I got it I know how to taste and it's not amazing really it's not amazing so that's my experience with my $28 unicorn frappuccino but thank you for watching and have a great weekend everyone bye